Hi everybody, it's your friendly neighborhood hangar hobbit here with a sub request by Raymond Rogers. See in that last video with the Air Cobra, I said if anybody needed help with the war bonds, just to give out a holler. And Raymond, he gave out a holler, said he needs help with the war bonds. And I'm always here to help fillers out, so here you go, Raymond. Now as you'll see, I'm already got six of my special tasks done, and it's just now day six. So at this rate, I'll have all my special tasks done by day 10. Oh, yes. Now, as you can see, I've already gotten stuff from previous war bonds. I even bought the boat, even though I don't really play boats, because, yeah, that month, I already had everything else. I said, yeah, why not grab the boat? This month, yes, I'm going to get Stalin 747. Oh, yes, the meme bomber. But this will show you what's the most important things you need to worry about. Number one, special tasks. See this number right here? You've got to get 40 of your daily tasks, which do two a day. That's 20 days, no problemo. But you also have to get the amount of special tasks done, which you can see right beside it, for what you're wanting to get. Like if you want to get the mystery box where I got that beautiful E7U2, you're going to have to do 14 of those special tasks. But if you want any of these right here, like the Meme Bomber or Mr. Quackers, because who don't love Mr. Quackers? He's so cute. Then all you need is 12. But here's ones you need to watch out for. As you can see, I'm going to have to wait till next day to do me some more because i'd have to spend golden eagles and i ain't doing it all right so what you need to do is first of all the first task you get every day it says tier two and up yeah you know what uh -uh. you're not doing anything in tier two forget tier two the reason why is very simple you can't do the special tasks in tier two no. So if you sit there and do one in tier two, you can't be doing your special task at the same time. That's inefficient. And that's the name of this game. You want to get your war bonds done? You want to get the free stuff? You got to be efficient. So here's the ones you need to get. And the first one, the tier two, you can take, yeah, most of them, except I would avoid Mission Maker. And I would avoid multi-strike streak. Those two are way too random. You can't predict if you're going to get the very first kill and the very last kill. Or if you're going to get like a multi-strike streak counted. Even if you kill two or three guys, that don't mean the game's going to count it for you. Uh-uh. You don't want any task that you can't control. So the ones you want for the tier two one... Bomb a base, that ain't simple enough. Get number of crits, get number of kills, take a place in the team. Those are all easy to do. Oh, and the attacker one. Now I think it's like, what, five targets in an attacker? That's really not hard to pull off. So I'm going to show him in each nation, because I don't know which nations he's got and how far he's progressed. So I'm going to try to show each nation and tell you which nations to avoid because yeah there's some nations no oh god no don't be doing them there no no painful painful suffering don't do attacker task with italy oh god no all they've got is that 105 millimeter dirt plane no no that would be bad but for the americans tasks that you can do with a fighter like hits crits place on the team Especially play, not win. If it's win, you don't play allies. Because good God, do allies teams suck. No. But if it's play a match and get a place, yeah, that's not a problem. For your fighter, here you go. The cannon sir. Heck yes. 924 rounds of friggin' ammo. Even stock these things slaughter. Oh, yeah. Only plane I've ever gotten a friggin' ace in a stock bird. Oh, God, these guns work. 
if you got to do the attacker task, which, yeah, the tier two attacker task is only like five ground targets. That's not hard to do. Here you go. The peanut butter jelly time. Yeah, forget that 75 millimeter. Try to aim that thing. No. Just use the freedom cows. Pop you some light targets. Plus, you get four bombs. Easy enough to kill five light targets with that. And if you got to do bombing, ugh, don't do bombing with Americans. But if you got to, the B-25 J-20. Reason why? Look at that snoot. Look at all that DACA. Gun pods of DACA. Nose mounted DACA. All the DACA. Yeah, so once you drop your bombs, you can use this as a fighter bomber. Heck yes. But personally, if you're going to do the bomber stuff, you really need to come over here. Over here to Germany. Yeah. Say hello to Mr. ME264. Or as I like to call it, why the hell isn't this thing in a higher BR? Good lord, this thing can outrun pretty much anything it faces. Even stock. The cannons on it are insane. Oh, good lord. Yeah, if I needed to do bomber tasks for a thing, yeah, this is what I'd use. For the attacker task, Mr. Quackers. This, of course, is the Mr. Quackers in the tree. Not the Romanian delicious battle ducky, but that's okay. He works just as good. Gets the MK-103 30mm cannon. Yeah, really not hard to rack up some ground targets with Mr. Quackers. You can't go wrong with Mr. Quackers. And for the fighter, the G2 Tropical. Oh, yes. Look at that climb rate. You can slap on the gun pods if you need the extra DACA. Eh, I rarely do. But, yeah, not a problem with that. Over here in your Russian tree. PE-8, Hand of Stalin. That's what you use if you need to bomb things. Any plane stupid enough to get close to you, it's a suicide run. He may take you, you're taking him with you. Yeah. So, yeah, if the Russians is what you need to use, PE-8. Of course, for the attacker task, he may be a drunken Cossack that drinks brake fluid, but Dmitri is good at killing all the things. Yes, Dmitri's can kill... Planes can kill tanks, can kill pillboxes. Dimitri can kill all the things when the drunken Cossack isn't sucking down the brake fluids. For the fighter, this might be a little bit controversial. I-185. The reason why, eh, the yaks and the lalas at this tier, uh, it's stuff like the 9T... The 9K, and good lord, those derp guns. When they work, they're hilarious. Key word is when they work. Most of the time, they don't. So, yeah, no. Now for your third task. The one that has to be level three and up. That one you have to be more selective with. You're going to want kills, crits, assists, Play a battle at a certain place on the team, or win a battle with a certain place on the team. Avoid the rest, because the bombing one is like kill 80 freaking ground targets. Well, the attacker one, eh, if you take Dimitri, the attacker one's okay. It's only like 15 ground targets. Eh, you can do that in two matches, maybe three if you're having a bad run. Don't take that bomber one. 80 freaking ground targets is a lot of ground targets to try to kill. No, no, don't bother with that one. But the main thing is, is this right here. Your special tasks. Always try to make this something that you can do easily while doing the other tasks. I usually shoot for crits, kills, or assists. And see, here's another key thing that most people don't think about. On your daily tasks over here, see, look at that. I did the destroy one base on tier two, followed by help assist with two enemies. Do I like flying bombers? No. No, I hate flying bombers. 
Why not do it? I did it so I could save my do-overs for my special task. That's why it's going to cost 10 right here. Because I've done did three freaking special tasks today. And every time they gave me one I didn't like, I just hit do-over and spent me some silver lines to get something that didn't suck. But the only reason I could do that without spending silver lines is I put up with this crap. So, yeah. Especially on the Tier 2 one, just put up with whatever they give you. Most of them aren't too painful. It's usually something like pop a base, pop a few ground targets. As long as, like I said, it's not Mission Maker or Multi-Strike Streak. Yeah, those are standable. But your Tier 3, you gotta be pickier. Because that's when they start throwing in stuff like that God Mode one where you have to kill somebody at least one BR ahead of you. Or the friggin' fighter hunter or fighter rescuer thing. Uh, no. Like I said, you want kills, you want assists, you want crits, you want placing the team if you're decent at whatever you're flying. And that's the last thing I can tell you that is very important. Make sure whatever you're using is something that you're comfortable with. Ain't nothing going to make these tasks more painful than trying to do them in something that you really don't like or you're really uncomfortable flying. So don't be out there doing a whole bunch of bomber tasks if you can't stand bombers. Don't be trying for something like the freaking mission maker and stuff if you don't like playing that aggressive. Try to make sure your tasks fit your play style. That's why I always like to go for the kills, the assists, the crits, or the place in the team. Those four things, not that hard for me to pull off. Getting kills, ah, I can just go green eggs and ham do that. Crits, oh, there's plenty of good birds for crits. Same thing with assists. And place in the team, eh. If worse comes to worse and I'm having trouble getting that first, second, or third place... I can just take out Boris or Dimitri, wipe out a dozen pillboxes, and boom, guaranteed first place on the team. Now here is what I would personally take to do these tasks. For the Italians, if, and especially if you've got any of them where you have to have wins, yeah, don't fly allies. Oh, good God, the allies are painful right now in just about every dang BR. No. Instead, you can either fly the Crappuccino, but if you're not comfortable with those MGs, and I know there's a lot of people that aren't, go ahead and take the C205 Series 3. It's got MG 151s, and yeah, you don't have to be really comfortable to make the 151s work. No, no, those work pretty dang easy, pretty much point and shoot. So yeah, if you're going to do it in a fighter, I would either do it in one of those two, or over here, 109 G2 Tropical. Yeah, not that expensive to repair either, see? 7200 I think the Italian one is, let's see, 6200 and 8200 So yeah, even if you have a bad run, it's not going to hurt you that bad. And they will kick some butt. What you want to avoid, though, is especially stay out of USA, Britain, and sadly Japan. Because, good lord, with Japan, they all want to turn fight, which is fine and dandy if you get a team that's stupid enough to try to turn fight with them. If not, you're going to be the only poor schnook dealing with a whole friggin' squad of P-51s booming and zooming you to death because nobody bothered to climb because they thought they could outturn everything. Yeah, that's not a good place to be, especially when you're trying to grind these things out because it's all about efficiency. You want to get through as many of these tasks over here as humanly possible as fast as you can. See, because once these 12 are done, all I have to do is just coast. That's it. Just do my two simple tasks a day, and in 20 days, boom, I get what I want. No muss, no fuss, no hassle. And because I'm doing that special task up here while I'm doing my regular tasks, it's not hard. It's really not. 
I mean, it's maybe an hour, hour and a half a day, and boom, 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 free stuff. Well, I hope this helps you, Raymond, and I hope to see you up there in the clouds. Have a good one, y'all.